hi guys welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna be doing this update for you guys um i know my last two videos were pretty long wait um i think they were like four weeks a four week wait um but i'm trying to get more consistent with it and update you guys sooner so today i'm gonna be doing my 12 and 13 week update i think in my last video i think i did my 12 week um, so it'll kind of be 12 week, um, my 13, and I just turned 14 weeks today, actually. So, um, it'll be a little bit of a mix of those. Um, so I'll just go ahead and jump into it. So I'll go ahead and update you guys for last week. Um, so I had a doctor's appointment, um, last, a week ago yesterday. I think I was 12 weeks and five days Sorry guys, I'm very burpy today. Um, but I had a doctor's appointment. I had a physical and I also had a pap. And then I had my NIPT screening um, that day as well. And I'll get more into that in a second. So, um, let's see. Um went to the doctor's appointment everything came back good um doctor wanted me to do blood work for um the genetic screening um keep in mind guys that the nipt uh blood test is completely optional um but based off of my previous history with my miscarriages my doctor really recommended me doing it. Um, and honestly, um, my insurance covers it anyways. So I figured, hell, why not? You know, I might as well look into if there is anything wrong. I would rather know. Um, you know, obviously hoping that there is nothing wrong. But if there is, like I said, at least we know in advance. Um, so... I did that, like I said, a week ago yesterday. I've got a lot of them back already. Um, and they've all came back fine um, within normal range. Um, also in this test, they do the blood gender results. Um, I have not gotten that back yet. And let me tell you guys, I am the most impatient effing person in the world. And I know there's plenty of other women out there like me. It's just so frustrating. It's so frustrating um, to have to wait for something. Um, and my doctor's office specifically, and I don't know why they do this because it's even more irritating waiting for them than it is the blood work. But my doctor's office, for some reason, waits until 20 weeks to tell you the gender of the baby and i thought that was kind of freaking ridiculous honestly um because most doctors will tell you at 15 or 16 weeks so i decided you know what hell why not i'll do the blood gender test and um they said that takes about a week or two um it's been a week like i said i haven't seen anything so it'll apply here from it and next week or some around next week sometime so we'll see about that i'll let you guys know um obviously we'll make a video about that i'm trying to get my husband more incorporated in these videos but whenever i have time to make the videos um it's when the kids are asleep and it's just easier that way um and my husband works at night so <laughs> I'll try to get him more involved because I know he wants to be more involved in these videos. So, um, hopefully we can get that done. But anyways, guys, um, let's see. So I'll get into my symptoms a little bit. Um, for last week, I think the biggest thing that I noticed, um, was my lips. Um, my lips were super, super, super chapped. Um, and not just like chapped, but to the point where they were like 
cracking and they were painful painful cracking they were cracking they were bleeding um, my bottom lip was almost like bruised up in a way um, and I remember specifically one day my husband asked me he's like what's wrong with your lip and I told them they were just chapped they were so chapped that they were <laughs> they were bleeding and bruising and so I, I just had to keep chapstick around all the time um, have it around me so that I can keep reapplying and eventually once you know during the week and stuff it started to get better and I noticed I wasn't having to use the chapstick as much um, which was good um, but I noticed after drinking water water or um, like licking my lips like that um, it would get worse um, so like I said I just kept having to apply the chapstick um, another thing is as you can tell the breathing the having to catch my breath I don't think that's ever gonna change but um, that's just a constant thing but let's see the other biggest thing that I've noticed is that the nausea has subsided quite a bit during the day um, I noticed that I hardly ever feel the nausea during the day anymore um, and I think I mentioned this in my last video where the nausea I notice it at night um, and not just nausea but like full-blown nausea um, to the point where I'm like gagging all the time I'm dry heaving I'm over the sink because something's gonna come out and nothing helps nothing helps so um, yeah guys it's just sometimes even just thinking about it I'm like <laughs> trying not to gag right now um, so that's one of the big things that I've seen um, it has gotten better so I guess I'll move on to this week because that was pretty much it for last week I'm not really having very many symptoms anymore not that I'm noticing um, most of them are the same if not kind of like disappeared but for this week a couple things that I've noticed um, going into my 14 weeks so uh, this week 13 weeks um, had a lot of pressure down there a lot of pressure um, had a couple of cramps here and there during the week um, nothing too bad it was just very very mild very mild um, and uh, my doctor did warn me she's like um, this week um, getting into your 14 weeks you're gonna start having ral ligament pain and it's probably gonna be painful and I'm like okay <laughs> you know and you know there you have it the week goes on and <laughs> I started having it and some days it was like I said very mild and other days it was pretty painful um, because every everything's stretching down there so I was like well she did warn me <laughs> so um, usually to try to alleviate the pain I would take a bath well not a bath actually um, I would take a warm shower um, my doctor did tell me that it is safe to take baths now, but for some reason I'm just so afraid to do anything to cause any harm that I'm not doing it. So, that happened. And let's see, what else? Um, this week my nipples have been super, super sensitive. Um, which I did forget to mention in my doctor's appointment um I had a physical and she did a breast exam and everything and she was quite surprised because she was looking at my boobs and she's like she's like wow you're already uh producing colostrum and I'm like yeah I thought that's what that was I thought it was something you know pertaining to that because I notice it especially when I'm in the shower um, and I have the water, you know, the water's running on me and it's relaxing my body. Um, I notice that my nipples get very white and she mentioned it. She brought it up and she said, yeah, you're, you're already producing colostrum, which is good, um, you know, because I have had 
I don't think I've ever mentioned this in any of my videos. Um, I have had a breast reduction. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, during the breast reduction, they did have to take some mammary glands out to get me to the size that I needed to be at. Um, but she said that that's a good sign um, for wanting to breastfeed in the future. And I'm like, okay, good, because that's, you know, ultimately what I wanted to do. I want to breastfeed as much and as long as I can. Um, so that was a, that was a big thing for me. Um, let's see guys. Um, what else? What else? Oh. Oh. Of course, still tired all the time. That's not, that's not going to change. I don't think that's ever going to change. Um, let's see. Man, I am just blanking right now. I really just am blanking. Besides that, um, I have noticed this week, but like within the last maybe two or three days, um, that, that nausea that I've been having at night, um, is starting to get a little bit better, um, which is good. Usually by now, um, what time is it? Let's see. It's 9.30 at night. Usually by now, I'd be over the sink vomiting um because of how bad it gets at night and like I said these last two or three days it's gotten substantially better which I'm <laughs> thankful for um so that's good that's another thing that I've you know noticed a big change on so other than that guys I don't really have much else to update on like I said the the more I progress, I feel like the better it's getting. So there's not really much to update on. Uh, I will be making a video on the gender results. Um, whenever I get the results back for the Down syndrome and all that stuff. And um, update you guys then. Hopefully, like I said, I'm trying to keep these videos consistent for you guys. Um, so hopefully I'll make another video either next week or in two weeks instead of every four weeks. Um, but other than that, guys, there's not really much else that I can think of. And I know there's probably a ton of stuff that I'm forgetting to talk about. But honestly, I feel like I've talked about the most important things that I've noticed. So, yeah. But I think that's it for today. Um, I'll go ahead and show you guys my belly, if I can get up. <laughs> Just give me a second. Alright guys, so, this is my, well, today technically I'm 14 weeks, so I guess this would be my 14 week belly. And, so... As you can tell, I do have a belly ring in, and as you can tell, it's sitting quite high. Um, typically, my belly ring's quite down here, but and I know I'm wearing black, so that doesn't help. So, let's see. Let me turn on the light. I don't know if that'll help, but okay. So, tightening up the shirt. So, that's the belly there. Let's see if you can see it from that side. So, I noticed that the bottom of my belly has really poked out and upward. Um, but, that's the belly there. And, oh, goodness, guys. I'm tired. I'm sorry. But... That is going to be it for this week's video, guys. Um, if you have any questions, just go ahead and uh, comment down below. And I write back to every comment. Um, at least, I think I do. <laughs> I haven't checked in a while, so I'll make sure to keep updated, keep you guys updated. Um, but if you guys have any recommendations on videos that you guys want me to make or um, have any suggestions or anything like that, let me know. Um, I will be doing a 
names video, um, the names we like, um, and I think most likely we will be announcing what names we're going to use, because honestly, I don't feel like it should be a secret, if that makes sense. <laughs> um, honestly, they're very normal names, so <laughs> I don't see a big deal in it, but um, yeah, guys, the next video guys uh, that you guys should be seeing is the gender results and then um, hopefully another two week update and that should be it. But like I said, guys, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.